Hey everyone, I swear to, if this isn't working, I'm going to freak out. You guys, I have tested and tested and tested to see that this will work. If you are here, I am so glad you're here. Um, if you're here on the replay, make sure you pop in the chat and say replay. But I am so happy to see you. Okay, I think we're good. Let me know in the chat. I see myself on the screen. Um, today we're going to do an alcohol ink tumbler. Um, if you are watching live, I would love to hear from you. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching from. I see somebody, Jennifer, Brenda, Debbie, Mel, Ivy. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're all here. Okay, so... What do you guys think of these alcohol ink tumblers? I am obsessed with them, um, and now I've made several. So I feel pretty confident getting on here to tell you how to do it. Um, so let me um, switch cameras real fast so I can talk about the stuff that we're using. Okay, so I do need your help. If at any point you can't hear me or things get weird, please tell me in the chat. Like, it should be easier to do this, but it's just like not. And I'm like super techie, so it's like really annoying. Um, Texas, Wisconsin, um, New Jersey. Oh my gosh, there's like so many of you on here right now. This is like the greatest thing ever. Um, I am from Illinois, so... I don't know if anybody else is from Illinois here, but um, I'm so happy. Jacqueline, you're in Texas. Laura, you're in Texas. Are you guys all okay in Texas? Um, my tumbler, I purse, I just love the skinny tumblers, you guys. Like, I don't know. I just like really prefer them it's for this and for like all cups. But this was sanded. Actually, I use crud cutter to prep my tumblers and but you can sand it however you need to prep and then it was spray painted so i spray painted the with just a couple coats of white i think that alcohol inks just work better on spray paint so i don't know if you guys are all crystal act people i'm obviously a crystal act person but this same technique obviously could go under whatever top coat that you want Oh my gosh, California. You guys, I'm so glad you're all here. Um, so this was spray painted a while ago, but if you're going to spray paint before you do your alcohol inks, just wait 24 hours. You don't need to wait the 48. You just need it to be dry because um, you're still going to wait longer before you move on to the next step anywhere. Um, yeah, so the crud cutter is hard to find now um, because everybody wants it. I was actually thinking recently about like, do you guys ever think about the people who like work at Rust-Oleum and who they're all of a sudden like, why are thousands of people all of a sudden buying cred cutter? Like, I just think about that person in the office, like what the heck is going on? I am using Jacquard alcohol inks. You certainly could use whatever um, inks that you want. Um, the other one would be like Tim Holtz, but it seems like the from alcohol ink artists that the jacquard ones are um highly popular so i am using magenta because if you follow me on instagram i put a poll out there and overwhelmingly people said they wanted me to do this in magenta and then i'm using rich gold i do know that the brass pinata brass is really popular too i just don't have that right now and then the other thing that I'm going to use is a blending solution. This is a different brand. It was just a blending solution I could get at the store. Um, you could use 91 or 99% isopropyl alcohol, but since we're in the middle of a pandemic still, it is very hard to come by. Nine, anything over 70% is literally not available here. So I am just using the blending solution and it works well, so it's totally fine. I would obviously 
encourage you to not take away um, rubbing alcohol for people who need it, obviously. So um, I'm using this blending solution. They call it different things for the different brands, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this one is just the Brer Reese one because that's what they had at the store. Um, L'Oreal. Sorry, I feel like my contacts aren't working. From Illinois. Oh, I'm so glad you like the videos, you guys. I love making them for you. So hearing that they're helpful is always a really good thing. You need to use gloves. And truly and honestly, you should be wearing a respirator. Um, you guys can go online and look at like the SDS sheets for the alcohol inks. I am not going to be a great example because I would like to talk to you. Um, and I'm just going to live a little dangerously tonight. Um, oh, Australia. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. So I'm with my gloves on. And you guys are going to like just wait and see how easy this is. I am so glad too that this live stream is working. This is like maybe my third, fourth time going live. And every single time I've had issues. So I'm super glad this is working. I'm hoping my phone doesn't like overheat. I'm using my phone. I really want to upgrade my camera so I can live stream from my camera, but that's just pretty hefty expense right now. So we're just trying to make do with what we have. Speaking of what we have, I'm just using a paintbrush. So I want to hear in the comments if you guys, do you guys own any alcohol inks? Do you have alcohol inks? Do you use alcohol inks? I would love to hear from you um, with where you're at on alcohol inks. So I'm using a paintbrush. They sell like brushes that hold liquid. I know like people who do watercolors, you can put water in them or alcohol in them. So that is an option. Um, I'm just like using a random paintbrush that I had because I really, <laughs> you guys, I need to stop spending money on crafting supplies. So I'm like truly trying to use what I have here. Um, and again, this blending solution is basically just like 99% alcohol. And I'm just going to take the caps off. It's like exploding and it stains and these stain. So please protect your surface and protect your hands. Um, if you're using the metallic colors, they have several. Um, <laughs> Ivy, you wanna huh? shake it up really well. Um, they have like, can you guys hear that? They have like a little um, ball in there. Um, so yeah, before I tried to teach myself how to do this technique, all I had done was wood grain like sometimes. And then the first one I made, this purple one though, was a hot mess and then it turned out okay. So hopefully if you watch this, you feel a little bit better. The beauty about these alcohol inks is that they're very forgiving. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of blending solution and then I'm gonna go in with this magenta. That's pretty. And there's no like right way to do this. Um, I was looking at a ton of tutorials um, to try to like teach myself how to do this and I don't know I was having a hard time finding a good one so they dry very quickly and I like using this paintbrush method you can I've seen a ton of videos people using um, heat guns and straws and I just found that it like wasn't working for me so I'm just kind of taking this paintbrush and like truly being like random. And you could always add more of your blending solution. So Allie, I cannot tell you scientifically like why. So, okay, so watch this. So this like it's already dry. It dries super fast um, and it's pretty vibrant. Um, actually, it's like really pretty this mm -hmm. color. I'm about to add more blending solution and it'll, it's like reactivates the ink. You guys see that? So that's sort of how we can get like the different colors, like all in the same color, huh? if that makes sense. So, okay. I don't know scientifically why, um, 
the lower alcohol count doesn't work, but I do know the very first time I tried alcohol inks, I used 70% and it, it did not work. It like, it looked like fuzzy. Like it was really weird. So I'm just going to keep going down and I'm trying to like not go too heavy on this blending solution because it is kind of expensive. It's d very expensive. Well, I don't know. I'd say it's probably on a normal day, very expensive compared to 99% alcohol. But since we're, you know, dealing with COVID alcohol prices have gone up too. So it's kind of expensive. So I'm trying to just like minimize how much I use. Okay. And I'm just going down here and I'm actually going to do like the whole tumbler before I get into the gold. And so I do want to preface this with, I'm like not a professional alcohol, ink, alcohol ink artist. De definitely not. But this is like my fifth one that I'm done. So I feel like I'm getting decent. What do you guys think of this magenta? This is like gorgeous. It's like, it goes on a very, I feel like it's drying quite a bit darker than what it comes out as. I guess that's normal for like paint though. Okay, don't have any, so a lot of you guys are very um, new to alcohol inks and I kind of am too, so that's kind of exciting. Again, I'm just going to remind you, safety first, you should be wearing your PPE when you're doing this. But, um, this will absolutely be posted. Once this is done, I will get it posted so you can watch the beginning. But there's not too much that you miss. I'm to truly just like painting with this alcohol ink. I'm using magenta from Jacquard. And I'm using this blending solution, which is basically like 99% alcohol. But I mean, it's been a year since I've seen any 99 or 91% alcohol. So we're just going with it. The beauty of these tumblers. Okay. So here, look, here's a good learning example here. My blending solution just went up and like reactivated these inks. So I'm just going to take my paintbrush and sort of even it out. Like, I just think it looks a little bit better that way. Otherwise, it's up to you, though. The beauty of these is that they're so super unique. Like, every one of them is different. And a lot of people will um, use straws and or heat. I just was finding that it wasn't really working the way I wanted it to work, if that makes sense. So just kind of going to keep going down the tumbler and then I'll show you um, how to add the gold. It's very easy, but you do want to just keep your eyes open on the rest of the tumbler. I mean, like it's very forgiving. Like You'll see, we'll go back in and like, you can let this completely dry and then like go over it in a lot of spots. Like it's totally okay to like layer the inks. So if something like, again, this just happened again. That's the only issue that I seem to keep running into as I do these, but I don't want it to be like a harsh line. So I just sort of Go back over it. But these are just sort of like perfectly imperfect, if you will. So, okay, so Bombay inks. Bombay inks. I, <laughs> I don't like them. Um, they don't behave like this. So if you're going to do Bombay inks, you wouldn't use, in my experience, alcohol um, didn't really allow for this sort of behavior 
I might mix them. I might use water on a paintbrush, um, but you should try it. Maybe I'll be able to try it again. I sort of like played with alcohol inks or Bombay inks like once or twice. It was like, no thanks. I don't know. They just, I wanted them to behave like this and they just didn't. Um, but that doesn't mean they won't. I could have been doing that wrong. Um, but it would be a good experiment to see if you can get them to do what you want them to do. I'm just not a huge fan. And Al um, the Bombay inks are like watercolors. So you might be able to do this with water and those. Maybe. Worth a shot. I'm just sort of like just trying to get it like covered on the bottom here. So I don't see any of the white. I'm not doing anything earth shattering right now. But see, okay, look, see, now I just got all, <laughs> I just got some all over this cup. So what I'm actually going to do is, this is just like a, a little paint palette from Michael's. I'm going to dip my brush in some blending solution and try to soften this up. Although I'm about to do this again. So I don't know that this is necessary because I'm about to put the gold on, but whatever, it's fine. But see, so like right now I'm reactivating the ink that is already dry. It dries like in a couple minutes. Okay. So honestly, like it looks pretty cool as is, if I'm being honest with all of you. But we're going to add some gold. Do you guys have any questions so far? I haven't really been looking at the comments too much. Um, because I'm very focused. Okay. And I'm sweating. If you, any of you do videos, I don't know whenever that is going to get better. <laughs> the whole sweating situation. But I still get sweaty when I make videos. So I used um, spray paint I, to prep this tumbler. I think that spray paint is just a little bit better with alcohol inks. So you just need to spray paint um, and then wait like 24 hours and you can get this started. So I'm going to go back in with the blending solution. And you can see where it's activating the inks. And then in that I'm going to put this. Um, gold and I'm going to use my paintbrush to move this around. Huh? Okay, and you can do you can get it like as um, sort of vibrant huh? as you want it. So here's another thing you could do. Like I put a little blending solution, just like a little drop. I'm going to put the gold and then I'm going to put more magenta. I'm just going to blow it around. That's another option. Um, I think, I don't know which way I like better. I think blowing it gives you, so when you blow it, let me show you the difference. Like, it gives you those harder lines. Does that make sense? 
like you can see right here, it's a little harder than right next to it. It's a little softer. Um, so when you use your paintbrush versus like your mouth, um, it just looks a little different. It's just kind of fun to play around with these and come up with a new look pretty much every single time. I think that's the coolest part about these is that each one is a little bit different. Okay, you can do this. Yes, I have, I'll show you a black one that I made in a minute. Well, when I'm done with this, I can show you a black one and I have a purple one. Um, but you can do this whatever with whatever color alcohol ink that you have. And they have different color um, metallics. So I think they have a silver. This is the gold. They have like what they call brass, which is like kind of gold. But I don't. it doesn't seem like brass to me, but I could be wrong. That one's really popular. What do you guys think so far? I think it's turning out nice. And if you don't like it, you just grab some of your blending solution <laughs> and paint over it. Like, that's the best part. So I do like the gold, like blending solution, gold, and then magenta. And you'll get a different look, like you'll see um, people doing it with their heat gun. And I think that that method might work a little bit better if you had like your isopropyl alcohol and you weren't like being stingy, you know, and you could kind of like soak it. <laughs> And then I'm just going in, like, fixing that spot looked really light. So, um, I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Can you guys see it? I love it. I love it. Like, it's so, it's just unique in my opinion. Like, it's not... Like, a lot of things that I do are very, like, rigid, you know? And this is just flows, and I like it. And it dries really fast, so you don't have... You can you can touch it. Um, I'm going to go put this on my drying rack real fast. I'm going to take... No, actually, I'm not. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to close these up, and then I'll show you some of the examples, and I'll talk about what happens next. Again... This is your reminder, you should be using um, your proper PPE with this stuff. They really should be used with respirators and somewhere with good ventilation. Probably not my basement, but here we are. Um, <laughs> 
you guys these these are easy like that was not hard um the first one I did I posted I posted it on Instagram um but it did not look good at first mm -hmm. but if you're not liking how it looks my hands are so sweaty oh my god that's disgusting um if you don't like how it looks you can get some of the blending solution or alcohol and just reactivate it like I could go in tomorrow get more paint like get more of this and just do it again so this is the pinata rich gold um and i'm just i just know that a lot of people recommend the um brass color that's just the really popular one so here is my purple one and you can see it's not as good as the one i just did because i kind of like left these little like I don't know. I don't like how that looks personally. Like it looks like a mistake to me. Whereas like, maybe, I don't know. It doesn't look that great. So something interesting I want to talk about with, um, these is what I did next. So the, it doesn't really smell. It's just, there are some very questionable ingredients in the inks, the alcohol inks and just, take care of yourselves. Um, so I have two other ones that I have done and it is interesting to see what they look like. These both have bright tone on them. So right. This purple one is like, I, I love it. Like I'm going to keep it like I'm gonna keep it. But so what's interesting is that this purple one, I sealed it with a couple coats of the Kamar varnish spray and a coat of clear spray paint. I let that dry for a while and you can actually, if you look really closely, like you have to look like really closely, you can kind of see that like it is bleeding a little bit. Can you guys see that? You have to like be like all up in it. Like even if I gave this to somebody, like I don't even think a normal person, like an average person would notice. Do you guys see this? Anyway, this one was sealed first, but this black one, I didn't seal it. I just let it dry for like a day or two and it doesn't have that same and it could be because it's black, you know? Like, it could be because it's black. I don't know. But I don't see the same sort of color bleed. But again, I should probably do one where, like, another purple one to see. So, um, the base coat of these is spray paint. White spray paint. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I don't know if you have to seal it, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um... If you do seal it, let the inks set for, um, like, uh, 24 hours. Oops. Um, like, 24 hours before you put any spray on it. But I feel mm -hmm. like I might not seal it. Here's what I'll do. Here's what's going to happen. This, t this tumbler right here, I'm literally making it for this live. And I'm probably just going to, like, give it to my sister because she likes pink. So... Let me know in the comments, should I seal it or not seal it to see what it looks like? I feel like I'm going to, you know what? I take that back. I'm not going to seal it because this one I sealed and I can kind of, I can see the color bleed, right? So the, this one, I am not going to seal it and I'm going to see what happens. What do you guys think? Think that would be a good, that's a good experiment, right? Um, Donna, so when I do wood grains, I actually use Bombay inks. That's the only thing I use my Bombay inks for. Um... I find that brown alcohol inks are hard to work with and sealing or not sealing, they take change color and they bleed and they do all sorts of weird things. So if you're going to use it for a wood grain, I definitely recommend sealing it with like three or four coats of Kamar varnish spray um, to help protect it. But I actually like to use the Bombay inks for wood grains. So, do you guys have any questions before we end the live show? 
I will be going live every Thursday night. Every Thursday from here to eternity. Um, on Thursdays, same time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if there are techniques you want to see, please let me know in the comments. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. And I want to make sure that I'm including things that you guys want to see. So please, 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 please make sure you let me know what you want to see. Because I, I mean, I'm going live every week. So I, I need ideas. Um, so let's set this one. This one I literally just moved on to Bright Tone. This one doesn't have any sort of spray sealer on it. I went straight into Bright Tone and it actually worked really well. Um, but I, it's hard to compare because this one's black and I don't know if it's doing, like this one is definitely bleeding. It looks cool still, but, um, so this one, so the one I just did, this pink one, I am not, I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours, maybe longer. Um, and then I will just go into bright tone. So I will post a picture um, here on YouTube in my community mm -hmm. tab, but I will post a video on, on Instagram to give you guys an update. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can see how this works mm -hmm. out when I um, add um, bright tone to it. And then, okay, the right plastidip is, okay, I'm actually, you guys, I'm mm -hmm. going <laughs> to... Okay, I'm being so picky, but you guys see this right here? That's bothering me. So I'm just going to go over this. And it just activates the ink again, and then it'll dry, and it'll look better. Like, you can just keep going until you're satisfied with how it looks. Okay, sorry, got distracted. Mm -hmm. I get so, you guys, I get so distracted. Um, and now that I... I'm on TikTok all the time. I'm pretty sure I can diagnose myself with ADHD. That's what, you guys on TikTok? Are you guys on TikTok? Um, so, Plastidip. You want to get the clear Plastidip, not the Glossifier. And that is contradicting what I used to say. So, you want to just get the regular Plasti Dip. Um, it's got a clear top. You can buy it on Amazon. It's expensive, though. So I recommend checking out, seeing if your local hardware store has it. Um, but if you want to go to my Amazon shop, you can at least see a link to it. Um, here, I'll type it in the comments right now. But sometimes, um, like my Lowe's only sells like a six pack, but my Menards, I could get it individually. So definitely like check around. Um, and then, okay, so Lisa, um, you, you got to sand it first. Um, you definitely need to sand it first. Um, and, and if it takes off any of the color, um, that might just, that might be an issue. I don't know. Like, it really depends on how it was made. Some of them are powder coated. Some of them are like, they like dye it in. So it really depends. Um. Beth, you can totally miss you. You can totally miss the live. You can totally watch the live. It will be posted after this. Um, and then, yeah, the Plastidip. I used to use the Glossifier, and then I learned that that's just like clear spray paint. So you can still use it. Um, I used it for a long time. So basically, what I was doing was sealing with five coats of spray paint. Um, I don't think you need Plastidip unless you're doing like a half wrap or a full wrap. Um, yeah, okay, Beth, I had an issue with it too, but the last couple times I'm, I've used it, it's been better. So honestly, Plastidip is completely optional. The only time I'm like, oh, I have to have it is if I'm doing like a full water slide wrap. If I'm just putting on regular water slides, I don't really feel like I need it. Any other questions? I'm so, so, so happy that all of you guys are here watching this. Or if you're watching the replay, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, again, follow me on Instagram to see updates on this cup. I really, I love it. 
this might be like a new style that I do. Um, I posted the purple one today and a bunch of people like messaged me. So maybe it's one that you guys want to do too. And um, I will update you guys. And please reach out if there are certain techniques you want to see because I will literally be here every Thursday night at 7 p.m. So I hope you guys are too. Oh, yeah, the black rubber. Yeah, you don't want black. It's got to be clear. <laughs> um, my craft area is my basement, and it's wa it's pretty warm. Like, I feel like it's pretty warm. We keep our house warm because I have two little kids, so unfortunately I have to keep it super warm. Um, you want it to be, like, 68 degrees is the bare minimum, but, my, like... Probably 72 is even better. Any other questions? So, again, recap real fast. I use my Pinata alcohol inks. This is the magenta color that it is really, really, really pretty. I used the gold. Make sure you shake it up really well. Make sure you protect your workspace, wear your gloves, wear your PPE. It is it stains like big time. So you don't want to get it on your hands. It takes a long time to get off. Ask me why I know that. And um, I'm going to wait 24 hours at least. But I'll probably even wait till the following day because like it's 8 p.m. almost 8 p.m. right now. So I probably won't do it tonight or tomorrow night. You know what I mean? So like I'll probably even wait till Saturday morning. Um, but I'm not in a rush, obviously. To do this um, and then I'm just gonna go straight to bright tone so we can compare to see what how it compares to the one that I did seal um, and hopefully I don't ruin it but you know you live and you learn so I'll keep you guys updated um, and then also I like you can I would do if you're gonna put vinyl on this which I don't even know if you need it but if somebody wanted their name on it of course you can um, I would do at least three coats of bright tone before you add your vinyl and then do your, um, coats after. I always put a few coats of bright tone down before I put on any vinyl. If you're not going to put on any vinyl, you can, um, do the, the minimum recommended amount of coats of bright tone is six coats. So you'll just do it. And if you, you wouldn't need to sand it necessarily cause there's no glitter, but if you like had any imperfections, like sometimes you get little bubbles or fuzzes or whatever, you could sand it if you need to. So I'm so thankful that you guys are here. Um, everything that I used on this live in the tutorial is linked in the description box below. So you guys can check it out if you want to look. Um, you can get all of this stuff on Amazon, but you can also look at like Michael's or Joann's or wherever. So you can shop around to get the best price, right? See where you can use coupons and, and all of that jazz. So again, follow me on Instagram to see updates and please reach out and let me know what tutorial you want to see next week and the week after that and the week after that, because hopefully you guys come back next week at 7 p.m. Thursdays, 7 p.m. And I do feel like I decided I had an idea of what I wanted to do next week, but in the moment right now, I can't remember. So if you have any suggestions, please, please, please let me know. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I will, well, hopefully I'll see you on Facebook, Instagram. I'm all, I'm everywhere, right? I'm everywhere all the time. So hopefully we can connect on any other platform. Oh, the marble inks. Okay. I just bought some. I just bought some to try to use. I've never used them before, Beth. So I'll keep you posted. Um, I'll keep you posted. I, I think I could do it live. I mean, I, can I do it inside? I'd have to look into them, but whatever. I'll figure it out. Okay. Thanks for coming, you guys. And I'll see you. I'll see you on the internet.